I share with you another story. I invest in a company called the UC Web, and uh, they are the browser company uh, in the mobile phone. Uh, we invest in the A round, and later this the company was acquired by Alibaba with three billion US dollar. And when we invest in that company, that's in the year two thousand seven. Quite interesting. They do the the first time I meet the company. They 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 try to describe their business plan quite long, um, cont uh, lengthy content. But I I just realized one simple conclusion. What they're doing is Netscape plus Yahoo. In the early days in the PC stage, similar like United States. I think you know everyone will 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 argue that you know. Compare Yahoo directory mm -hmm. with uh, Google. Definitely, Google is more powerful because search engine can have more scale scalable to ar aggregate all the content. But quite interesting in China, even Chinese Google like Baidu, twenty to forty percent come from a very single page called Hao Yi Er San. The Chinese here know the know the story. How ER San is a single page, just one page website. They will account for 20 to 40 percent traffic, the search traffic. Why? Because a lot of Chinese cannot type in the domain name in English. And they need a single page to give them directory, just like Yahoo, to tell you this news, this video. This e-commerce, this game, what kind of, and you, you just use the click, 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 and find out that one. So that's that's very interesting. So why, I think everybody, if in the year two thousand, you will go to the uh, serve the internet through Yahoo, but in the year two thousand five or two thousand six, I think everyone used the Google, but in China, in the year two thousand seven, I met the company. At that time, 20 to 40 percent of traffic comes from single page in Baidu because Baidu acquired that single page. So we realized that very interesting that company feed Chinese behavior. So think about it, if uh, in the in the smartphone in the year 2007, no iPhone, no Android, right. just Symbian. So we say. If there is a company can really feed Chinese behavior, and offer you a Netscape in the smartphone, Symbian, plus a directory, what will happen? So we believe they will become the portal site, and everyone will go to Symbian, and use that directory to serve over the mobile internet in the year 2007. So we make that you know the judgment, we make we make the investment. And the second year after we invested, they have 20 times user base growth. But you know, later there is you know the iPhone and Android. They're still very powerful, but we realized that it will be disrupted by the other new technology. So that's the answer. We make the investment in Xiaomi. Because this is another company trying to you know, chase up the new, new disruption. And they de deliver the similar model like Apple, but above the, ac the ecosystem of the Android in China. So I share those story. There are several takeaways you can you can think about that. If I'm an entrepreneur, I keep myself as the low opportunity risk and follow my own heart. And not just uh, behave regularly, <clears throat> do not join another Silicon Valley based brand because like Sequoia, um, Red Point at that time they use Headhunter to find out some, you know, the people to join them. Do you remember I tried to recruit you and Yes. And <laughs> so very similar like you guys, I have the ambition say to tell myself if whether I can build up the top tier V C brand name by ourselves, this is my dream. And also, I realize you know we have the edge as a local Chinese. We know the China market very well, and we also know the industry very well. 
So we choose to be independent. And in the year 2007, I go outside to, because we used to be the family office and institutionalized from the family office to the VC brand. I changed my role from the uh, uh, staff to, the, to the, pa uh, the funding partner to raise my first institutional fund in the year 2007. The t timing is interesting. Timing is really tough because I remember I traveled to do the roadshow at the end of the year 2007. And uh, we, we went to the Europe, we went to the United States and meet the different LP. And some of them showed the interest. And then in the February, financial crisis happened. And a lot of LP, they pulled back from their oral commitment. That's very tough. Uh, we are very lucky we got one LP very dominantly. They, they previously committed one third of the total fund size. And we already fixed another one third. So we cannot close the, close the deal. And one LP volunteered to increase from one third to two third. So we get the fund close in the year 2000. That's not the family? That's family. That's the family. Yeah. The family really get you know, the support at that tough time. But they get a very good return. That fund, we pay back probably the over 40 times multiple. To, to, the, to the existing LP. So the story, just, uh, that's just like you know, the movie, you know? Uh, you have the plan, but you never expect what will happen in the road. And you have to survive and keep, focus on something, you know, follow your own heart, and do something you, you believe this is the right thing you should do. And uh, no matter how hard it is, just focus on something you are really with the passion. So that's my story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.